Ruth? We should have got the plane. We should not. She'll be exhausted. She's a woman of 35. How can you speak of your daughter? <laughs> She's a woman of 35. So right, of course. She can travel around the world. She can travel the last few miles. So delightful for you always being so right. She didn't want to be met. She'll be here in a few minutes. I'm talking about the spontaneity. She doesn't want fuss. She says that. But it wouldn't be if she didn't know she was being met. There we were. Or there I was, if you insist on not coming. She'd like it with that. The moment she caught sight, she'd be delighted. Well, we didn't, so I don't see the point of worrying about it now. She'll never come home from Australia again. Oh, what do you mean? In the event she goes back, of course she'll come again. But she's never going to come back the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> You're not coming with your back. Where's my big sister? I want to give her a kiss. You'll see her when you're so. Now, it's all right, Brian. Um, Susie isn't here yet, Lewis. You probably got it in under the table. <laughs> Dad knows where she is. Don't you, Dad? Daddy always knows where Susie is. Hello, Auntie Maisie. Want a drink? Let's go to the pub, Maisie, and get away from this load of... Are you pleased she's coming back? What's the matter with you now? 
You don't seem pleased. You seem cross. The two's very quick. She'll be here in no time, I'm sure. You're the thing that makes me cross. You just drives me insane with your will. <laughs> this should be a lovely day. You spoil everything. <laughs> Done it. Was a lovely day. She was 
Jane, with my jacket, Jane, key, you're so kissable. L is the love light in your eyes. It's not that you don't have a sense of occasion. You know exactly what an occasion is, and you deliberately set out to ruin it. I've thought for 40 years you were a stupid. Exciting, and F, you're a 
feather in my arms. G, you look good to me. H, you're so heavenly. I, you're the one I idolize. She's taking her time. Not really. We should. <laughs> She'll be exhausted. She's a woman of 35. How can you It's fun to wander through the alphabet with you to tell you what you need to do. Shoulders in. <laughs> uh, is this something you've always wanted to do? 
And the shoulders bring the rest of my body. Eat my lungs, eat my heart. Down the ribs I go, munch my belly, crunch my prick. Oh, it's all in my mouth now. There's just my legs sticking <laughs> Have you considered seeing somebody? And then a snap snap goes a gun to Blaze the knees, the calves, the ankles. Now, it's just my feet sticking <laughs> taking a big bite and
Mommy, Daddy, how wonderful to be home. Gee, you look good to me. H, you're so heavenly. I, you're the one I idolize. Though, mind you, she wouldn't stay in Australia in that case, would she? She'd probably have to move on to New Zealand or Hawaii. I think she'd move on to Tonga. Probably. I do think waiting is one of the hardest things. Waiting for arrivals and also waiting to say goodbye. That's even worse when you're waiting on a station platform or the quay side of the airport. You're just at home. The day someone's going, waiting for the time when they go, of course, when they've got to think, why did I make better use of them when they were still there? <laughs> it's not that you don't have a sense of occasion. You know exactly what the occasion is, and you deliberately set out I've thought for 40 years you were a stupid woman. But now I know you're simply nasty. That'll be her. We'll see a change in her. Thank you. 